So first things first, I want to wish everybody out there a happy Memorial Day. And I would like to say a personal thanks to all the veterans who have served or currently are serving. And of course those who died for the cause. This review's for them. Let's get started, y'all. And now for the second thing. By no means am I ever gonna be the stature of Kev Central when it comes to these bicycles. As most of you guys know, this isn't my game at all. I mean, come on, look at it. It doesn't even have a motor on it. But I just needed something that I could quickly put in the car, take on longer distances, and have something decent to look at. So here goes the review of a 26 inch Chinese folding bike that you can get pretty much anywhere on eBay. Now guys, I'm not going to cover all the upgraded items. Obviously the bike doesn't look exactly like this when you get it. So there were some upgrades that I did a video on because some things were an absolute must that had to come off the bike. So the frame itself is made of high carbon steel. This is not an aluminum frame, but that the welds on this bike are not spectacular, but they're not bad either. So here's hoping that they hold up. I know shifters come in twist grips or shifters like these, but I'm not really a fan of those. I'm currently in the market to swap those out as soon as I find something that's suitable. So the bike is 21 speeds and you have your three level cassette in the front and the seven spoke cassette in the back and that combines to the 21 speeds. The bike also comes with dual disc brakes which is a nice little added feature because normally there's a drum on the back on a bike at this price point. The bike's also set up with a full suspension and this is the adjustment for the rear of the suspension and on the front you just have traveling forks. And now for some of the shadier bits. No matter where you look on this tire you will not find a name. So I have no idea what type of tires these are and that's just not good. Another big faux pas would be the front derailleur. On the spec sheets for this bike, they'll be posted right here. As you can see, the front derailleur says they have a Shimano TS30 on there. And I can confirm that there is a TS50 that's on the back of these bikes. I mean, I think I can spell, and that does not say Shimano. So officially, that's no good. And as you can see here, there's no longer the TZ50 because I had a colossal problem with that and had it replaced with this Altus that's really working out well. Can't really give a negative mark here because you're not gonna get one of the best saddles in the world with one of these bikes. But once you set this one in right with your height, you should be fine. But in the future, there might be a saddle replacement. So on my assembly video, I caught a tremendous amount of flat about not showing how the bike folds up. So we will not be making that mistake again. So right here on the clasp, you wanna release that forward. You wanna bring that back lift up and the bike will fold and guys here's a quick little tip that I wish someone had given me before I folded the, my bike the first time you want your left foot peg to be facing forward because when you fold the bike you don't want your peg to hit your front rim This way the peg's totally out of the way of your rim. So now let's pose the question. If I had to do it all over again for $200, would I buy this bike? And I have to say, absolutely yes. If you're on the fence on getting one of these bikes, you don't need to be. Now I'm saying that knowing that the bike's just gonna hold up until it doesn't wanna hold up anymore. You gotta go in with tempered expectations. The bike costs $200, folks, which is not a whole lot of money for a bike, especially something that would be considered a good bike. But I think the most value for your money on this bike in particular would be the ability for it to fold up. And for me, that's worth a whole heck of a lot of money the conveniency of it all. So this is your boy Kachi's Kid, wanting everybody have a great Memorial Day and a great work week. And you know I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out everybody.